Mitral stenosis, it is the stenosis of the mitral valve. Stenotic valve is typically fish mouth or buttonhole with calcium deposit which causes the valve adherent and rigid that they cannot open or shut. The predominant cause is rheumatic fever. Percutaneous transeptal mitral valvotomy, PTMV, it is an important therapeutic tool in the treatment of rheumatic mitral stenosis. It was first performed in 1984 as an alternative to surgical mitral valve commissurotomy. The majority of pulmonary mitral valvotomy procedures are performed in developing countries. It is skilled procedures and should be done only at centers which perform routine catheterization. Indication, moderate to severe MS patients who are having MVO, mitral valve orifice, less than 1.5 cm, the normal MVO in adults is 4 to 6 cm, the diameter reduced to 2 cm, we called it as severe mitral stenosis, and severe leaflets rigidity, and valvular calcification, and subvalvular disease, contraindication, severe mitral regurgitation, backflow of blood from left ventricle to left atrium and aortic regurgitation, backflow of blood from aorta to the left ventricle, and stenosis by prosthetic valve, and LA clot. Procedure. The patient is cleaned with antiseptic solution betadine on the groin and then draped with sterile sheet. And local anesthesia of about 10 milliliters is given on the groin. Then the femoral artery is punctured and the 5F sheet is inserted and the same is done with venous by using 8F sheet and through the femoral artery the pigtail is inserted to take the aortic pressure. Then through the venous the swan gauge catheter or a multipurpose catheter is used to check the pressure. And then the catheter is removed and the mullen sheet with 0.32 wire is inserted. And the mullen sheet is brought up to the SVC and is slowly pulled down to the through the venous sheet. Site of the RA with the guidance of the pigtail and then 0.32 wire is removed and the broken bruff needle is inserted through the mullen sheet and is used to puncture into the left atrium through the septum. And then the mullen sheet is pushed into the LA. And the broken bruff needle is removed and the LA wire is inserted into the LA. And the mullen sheet and 8F sheet is removed. And then local anesthesia is once again given on the groin and the venous axis is dilated with artery forceps and a dilator is inserted into the venous through the LA wire and passed through the septum to dilate the septum. And then the dilator is removed and the balloon with stretching tube is passed over the LA wire. Once the balloon crosses the LA the stretching tube with LA wire is removed. And then the balloon is positioned using the stillet into the LV. And the balloon is inflated a little and once it is pulled back in between the mitral valve it is inflated fully and deflated. And then the balloon is pulled back into the LA and the pressure is checked and echo is done. And then the balloon is removed using the LA wire and stretching tube. And the sheet is removed, pressure is given on both side and dressing is applied.